Hi, this is Dave. Today I want to talk about this position. This 4-4 approach move by black and white's one space pincer. In the 90s and nillies this pincer was quite popular and I think uh, in amateur games it's still uh, played quite a lot because it's an active move and it allows you pressure your opponent a little bit. It's, it's more fun maybe than uh, a patient move. Okay, but first, um, the last time I explained that uh, in the AlphaGo learning tool, um, Black's win rate with an empty board is 47%. So um, it seems that AlphaGo thinks that the 7.5 Komi is a little bit too much for Black. Uh, what I found afterwards is that as the game progresses, Black's win rate tends to go lower and lower. Um, apparently, this Komi advantage that White has becomes more and more uh, pronounced as the game progresses, more and more clear for AlphaGo. So, it kind of complicates uh, the matter a little bit of how to interpret uh, percentages in this database. Um, very often, uh, around move 25, Black's win rate ha has gone down to 44%, even if Black played the best moves according to uh, AlphaGo. So, we should take that into consideration a little bit. That 44% around move 25, we should consider it as even. I mean, what else can we do? Okay. So let's move on to this pincer and what happens. Uh, again, we add a little uh, context. Some other uh, stones around for four stones for simplicity. But it affects the play a little bit. Okay, so white pincers. AlphaGo thinks it's 47%, so it's still even. Um, I also consulted another uh, database, Walteri's uh, Go Pattern Search. It's a database containing professional games of a, a couple of decades up to now. And it shows the win rates of moves and positions. So I can I use it to compare with uh, AlphaGo's opinion. Um, there is a difference uh, though. AlphaGo, AlphaGo's learning tool, shows the black's win rates even if it's white's move. And Walteri's uh, database shows white's win rate if it's white's move. So we have to be careful a little bit about uh, uh, what percentage means what in which system. So do not get confused. Um, but anyway, in Walteri's uh, database, this position. Uh, uh, black wins 50% of the game, so it's just uh, still even. Well, black has probably two uh, main options now. One is to uh, jump out, and uh, the other is to uh, jump into the corner. Let's first look at black jumping in the corner. It's a patient move. Um, black just takes some territory at the price of giving white sente. Uh, white splits black and black expands his uh, corner territory. White extends and black plays forcing moves to expand his uh, corner. And white connects and black jumps out to uh, prevent being confined to the corner. And this uh, ends this uh, sequence. So, what, what does AlphaGo think about this? Well, AlphaGo thinks 47%. So it's still even. That is kind of surprising because uh, White has sent there. And we know that AlphaGo values this very highly. So why doesn't it like White more? That's kind of surprising to me at least. So let's go back a little bit, because 
actually, if you look carefully in the learning tool, AlphaGo thinks this is a mistake. It doesn't play that move. AlphaGo thinks white should play here. And then, of course, black still jumps out. So this small difference, but AlphaGo really likes this for white, as I would have expected for the other variation. Uh, black's win rate is 41%. So it's well, definitely favorable for white, I'd say. But why this fairly big difference between this and this connection? By the way, white is connected. Black cannot cut. If black cuts, white can uh, capture black. So it doesn't work. Okay, but why is this is this better? Why is this better? I mean, in both cases, black has some forcing moves. For instance, uh, going from here, black has this forcing move, and white usually responds there. And, well, in this case, something similar can happen. Um, if black plays there, white responds here, probably. So that's, that's not different. So what's the difference? Well, I think uh, AlphaGo, in this situation, worries about uh, this black move. I'm sure if you played this uh, yourself, you have encountered situations where black uh, was able to make trouble by playing at A at some point. If white plays there, black doesn't have the option of doing that. But still, it doesn't look very urgent, I think. But then looking a little bit more in AlphaGo's learning tool, I find that uh, in many cases, black immediately plays at A, as soon as possible. White is center now, but uh, if white doesn't uh, prevent it, quite soon, AlphaGo will play here. White will uh, separate black and threaten to uh, connect white. And black plays here. And white uh, brings black into a lack of liberties. So these two, these two stones here, um, these two stones are uh, kind of heavy. But AlphaGo just uh, gives them away. It's quite simply for some forcing moves on the outside. Well, what do you think? I think th these forcing moves uh, help black to make better potential on the lower right area of the board. Make it harder for white to do something there. And black doesn't have this forcing these forcing moves in this position. So I think this this is the explanation as to why AlphaGo doesn't like uh, white to play here. It worries that black can get this in center. So it's interesting. In fact, this move I couldn't even find in uh, Walteri's uh, database, so professionals don't play it. But uh, I will definitely try it out with white. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to do that and find out for myself how it uh, works, if it works better. So Alpha the Go thinks this is quite nice for white. So perhaps jumping in the corner is, isn't such a good idea for black, I mean this jump. Let's see what happens uh, if black jumps out. Well, Black's this move is uh, has been played for a long time uh, by human professionals, amateurs, and the like. So I'm sure you uh, know at least uh, the start of this sequence. Well, usually uh, White defends the cornerstone, doesn't uh, want Black to confine White to the corner, and Black leans on White's uh, pincer stone to make some influence. And White. Uh, makes a base on the lower side 
and now black more or less connects on the outside and now white has a decision point but usually uh, the wedge at B is considered the best move uh, by professionals and AlphaGo so white wedges uh, black uh, blocks and connects and white plays here and this captures a corner so black cannot live in a corner anymore giving white about 30 point territory of course black gets a nice and big potential on the right side so what do you think who do you pre prefer when I checked it in the Valtteri's Go database professionals win about 50% of the games with black or white AlphaGo uh, gives a black 41% win rate but like I said earlier this is move 23 at this stage even the best variations for black have only 44% win rate if white and black play correctly according to AlphaGo so perhaps we should take that into account there's also this thing that AlphaGo is not easily impressed with a, a big side potential so this side potential AlphaGo is not worried about that at all it, AlphaGo is just extremely good at reducing and invading so it's not a problem but for humans um, it seems all these formations where black makes a big potential humans do quite well against other humans it's just maybe if your alpha goes superhuman level then maybe these potentials don't really work as good anymore but I'm an amateur so uh, for me this would be okay for black for white as well probably I mean this corner is quite big but this is I think this is to be expected this result if uh, black jumps out this is the most normal result I think um, if white doesn't want black to have this big potential on the right side at this point white could play at A white could like this and then uh, black defense is defect uh, here um, white expands his uh, lower side group to prevent uh, black from getting many forcing moves and making white live with minimal eye space only um, but then black can take uh, take the left side like this according to AlphaGo and pros uh, white lost something here so this this may be, I don't think this uh, splitting move uh, the triangle stone of white is actually the correct move to play for white so um, a quick summary black can jump out at A or it can jump into the corner take the corner with B B is quite a standard move I think but uh, AlphaGo dislikes it if white plays like this dislikes it for black so it may be right I, I don't know I don't think humans have much experience with this move so you could still try it out with black of course but perhaps the safest uh, bet for black is to uh, jump out and uh, go for this result well thanks see you next time bye